The Advanced Limb Preservation Program, the goal of that is to identify patients who are at risk for limb loss and try to provide earlier care, better care, and more coordinated care to help reduce the chance that they would end up in that situation. The Limb Preservation Program is designed to work together not only with those specialists that deal with vascular, uh, but also care coordination, which I think is going to be the most important part of this to bring it all together for the patient. It's hugely important simply because you're trying to prevent amputation in patients who may have uh, threatened extremities. There's two general classes uh, that put people at risk. One has to do with overall medical problems, diabetes, kidney failure, and smoking are the biggest risk factors for one's overall health. One of the biggest problems with diabetics is what's called neuropathy. So they don't feel their toes the way somebody who is not a diabetic. So if they have little injuries to their toes, they don't feel it. Peripheral arterial disease affects probably 10% uh, of Americans and is only increasing in frequency. Also, kidney disease, for example, together with diabetes, increases the risk of amputation and limb loss a lot as well. And it's just the way those disease processes work. If they have overall medical risk factors like diabetes and smoking, and kidney disease, and they have poor sensation in their feet, or their feet feel cold or painful, those to me, that constellation of risks, for me, would rec I would recommend someone seek care. Pain and change in color, quality of the skin, are probably the most frequent symptoms. It becomes truly worrisome when one develops a non-healing sore or wound on one of the legs that isn't getting better and those wounds are what can lead to uh, amputation if they're not looked after. They're really warning signs more than anything else. We reassure them that there are excellent treatments available and that with continuous care, they're at very, very low risk in most cases. But they need to feel like you've really gone to the wall for them. You've left no stone unturned in terms of trying to save their leg. We want to preserve independence because that's closely tied to quality of life. It feels good. It makes you feel like you, like you win when you are able to you know, get somebody from a point where they could lose their leg to where, they, where they've saved it. I mean, that's a huge deal.